Glee. Welcome to my world, bitch. I've been watching Glee because I'm bored and like, what else is there to do? It's something that's easy to binge because it's fun, it's stupid, and it's not surprising because I've already seen it before and I honestly can't handle any more surprises right now. With the pandemic and the amazing documentary that Target King was, like, I've hit the limit. Glee is like a predecessor of Riverdale testing out batshit crazy storylines and musical numbers that make absolutely no sense just to see how much we'll tolerate it. And we'll tolerate anything. Obviously. So today we're doing season one, we're gonna go episode by episode of what is stupid and problematic and stuff that I've forgotten about and just, mm, like, see how we feel. Um, we have a pedophile who isn't Mr. Shoe. <laughs> like what? <laughs> I forgot about that bit. Um, and we have our first inappropriate behavior from Mr. Shu peeping in the shower. Yay! How did I forget that Mr. Shu raps? It's literally a hate crime, and I'm so uncomfortable. Why are there students in a band with a man who was fired from being a pedo? So I didn't forget about this, but it's a big, it's a big point. Terry lies about being pregnant, and then she plans on taking Quinn's baby. My boss wants to buy my baby. Like, even when I was 14 and watching this, I was just like, dude, just like say that you miscarried. You're already lying. Just like another lie to solve the problem. Like, if you're not gonna come clean, like at least be smart about it. You can't, you, like you're already lying. Problem solved. Try again. And then, okay. I legitimately forgot though that Sue is regularly on the news spouting racist stuff like so much. Like she was sexist, she was pro-abuse, pro-eating disorders, I'm like, and more, because why the hell not, right? She called homeless people urban campers. And there's one hair, like this one chunk of hair that's like little like could you just don't. Okay, and then April Rhodes comes in, and she's amazing. Kristen Chenoweth, goddess, right? But then here she is, hooking up with students, and teaching them to steal, and giving them alcohol. And I'm like, um, no. Oh, and then Sandy, you know, the abusive pedophile, coming back to teach. I am coming back to teach. Coming back to teach every time. Terry drugging the students because she's not problematic enough. Sue pulling the students apart by race. Will serenading Emma. I'm like, this boy is walking a real thin line. Baby, that bong, the bong, bong, bong. Puck drugging cupcakes. Like it's smart, but it's not okay. Like, I'd be real bad if I bought this. Okay, so then we have one of the weirdest episodes ever where Rachel is in love with Mr. Shoe. And you're like, okay, why though? And him thinking that serenading her will make it better. And then Rachel just shows up at his house because that's normal behavior. Um, and then she serenades him in the car because why not? But I gotta say though, child protection rules, like I don't know what it's like in America, but like, Obviously the child protection rules are not nearly as strong as they should be because you've got a pedo coming back to teach. At least in Australia when we were doing church ministry child protection, um, two students in a car and one adult at least, or two adults and one student to protect everyone. This, dodgy. Like he's really just opening himself up to accusations. <laughs> and Finn's serenading Gwyn in front of her parents and like, as funny as it is, the flute in the, in the opening of this song it will forever trigger me into laughter because it's a joke. Like, was I supposed to take this seriously? Because I'm not. Kurt pretending to be straight to be closer to his dad. Break my heart, why don't you? We already knew Sue was petty as hell, but now Neil Patrick Harris is petty as hell too. <laughs> Great. And then Elsa is like, hey, befriend this girl. She's my long lost daughter. Bring her to me. Just like a telenovela, right? Because telenovelas are hell. Hi, my name's Shelby. I'm your mom. I signed a contract. I can't contact her until she's eight. Will seducing Sue with the specific intention of hurting her. 
am I supposed to like this character? Because I don't. Like, if I was Sue and he did this to me, I'd 100% punch him in the face. It's weird. It's not okay. It's rude. It's just cra Like, it's just, you're a crap person. I don't care if you repent of it later. It was mean and horrible and stupid. I don't like it. Am I supposed to take Quinn singing This Is A Man's World with full-term pregnant women as backup singers and dancers seriously? Because this feels like a joke, right? Was I supposed to take it seriously? Because I didn't. So those are the notes that I took while watching Glee season one, season two coming soon. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, all that jazz. Bye.